I do have Chrissy Anoche, that's the acting national coordinator that has to do with the computer schools, computerized schools selection placement system. And the Ministry of Education says it will review the computerized school selection placement system, that's the CSSPS, to correct the defects associated with it. The computerized system was introduced in 2005 to replace the manual way of selection and placement of students in senior high schools which had for many years created a number of challenges after 10 years of implementation the gun education service says a review of the program has become crucial to correct anomalies and the ministry of education is consistently faced with criticism from parents and students over the recurrence of the situation and we have been joined in the studio this afternoon is um, Chrissy Anochi. He's the acting coordinator of the Computerized Schools Selection and System Placement. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Wendy. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Ten years. Yes. How has the system fed? Are you satisfied with the system, first of all? Yeah, uh, Wendy, thank you and good afternoon to your viewers. Yes, ten years is a long way and we are very much satisfied with the uh, the mandate that was given to us and what we have been able to deliver. Uh, as a human institution, definitely there will be challenges, but we have successes also that we'll be able to uh, accomplish. Aside the challenges, uh, we are also on course to address those challenges that we have uh, identified over the years. And uh, so uh, we came out with this uh, review, which we did. The first one actually was done in 2010. And this is actually the second major review we have done. Now, you've done a number of reviews. Yes. And obviously, when reviews are done, some measures are being taxed or given to the very institution that underwent the review for some changes to be implemented. Yes. Now, even before we look at the proposals, what are some of the major reviews you've done? And what next after the 10 years? Yeah. If I quite remember in 2010, uh, we were then allowing the students to choose six schools. And uh, we had some feedback from the general public, major stakeholders, and it prompted us to have that major review. And we realized that the six schools was too much for the candidates. So it was reduced to four. Mm -hmm. And it solved a number of issues for us. Fast forward to 2016, we've had another review, and we had some major areas we looked at. One of the areas was the timeliness of the release of WIAC results and over the years this release of results has affected the time the student the first year's report for admission you see that the second years and the third years will be in school before the first years will go and it limits the number of days they spend in school for the first term so we had to look at that and the second issue was what we always want to run away from but we can't the issue of protocol we invited major stakeholders Old Students Association, PTAs, Directors of Education, Professors of Education, all major stakeholders. And we threw it out to them. This is the issues we are facing. How do we solve it? One body was saying, especially the Old Students Association, they came out and said they, they are doing a lot for their schools, so they should be given a quota. The Parents Teacher Associations, they were saying no. What if a parent is an illiterate, has never set foot in any classroom before? The child is brilliant. Does it mean we limit him or her from not getting admission to that particular school? Everything should be on merit, 100% merit. If I do well, no matter what, if I'm not the only student, place me there. So we had all these scenarios and we are looking at it. A subcommittee has been set out after the major review. We are looking at that and we will advise the minister accordingly before we do this year's placement. But was a conclusion given on that, even though you mentioned that you're looking at it, that does it look like you're making it with Because the protocol bit has been a very big issue. And aside that, there were some allegations that persons you even work with go and manipulate the system one way or the other. How does this work? Are you seeing headway when it comes to these issues? Yeah, and have you been able to identify even the persons you work with? Definitely there are headways we are making. Mm -hmm. That is why we, we had this major review. So we identify all those loopholes and we are trying to seal all those loopholes. If you, if you look around the allegations of staff of Ministry of Education, GES, or even the core staff of the CSSP has been involved in such. But if you look around, you realize that there are people we normally call the Goro 
the Goro boy in quotes, people who are not even associated with the system, who do a lot of things that affect us. We look at all those issues. And the protocol, one body is saying, let's have an institutionalized protocol. One body, too, is saying, no, there shouldn't be even any protocol. So far as we are concerned, we are doing placement of merit. But now that an organized body like All Students Association are saying this, we need to look at it. We need to have, give them the ear. That is why a subcommittee have been set out to look at all those issues that was brought on board at the review. They will come out with their recommendations and give it to the minister. And if we're looking minister. at timelines, how soon are we going to see a recommendation? Oh, I'm sure the by the next, by end of next week, those recommendations should be out for them, should be submitted to the minister and she will come out with a concrete uh, uh, review, uh, a concrete uh, statement on what and the way forward default, is. And if there's a default, what happens? Definitely there will not be a default. It's a human institution, you rightly said. Yes. And that's what I'm saying. Based on the recommendations that the committee will submit to the minister, she will come out with a statement. No protocol. That is it. We are doing it. Or this percentage should go to protocol. And we will move along with it. All right. Thank you very much. Um, Kusia Anochi, he is the acting national coordinator with the computerized school placement system.